Hello everyone, and welcome back to Flotsami Bantos. So we are in Ocean, we have now four people living in our colony, and if you have a name in for the game, I will be adding it in the next video. We're gonna start adding some names, so we got the Mismash, Malfrit, we got Young Punk, and Skip. We also have someone has to level up, Young Punk has received some experience, so... What do we want to level up? Probably Salvaging, has already a high skill in it, and also does like it so that's pretty good so in here we can see you want to add one here so that's awesome and uh, then we're gonna keep leveling it so we level one on everyone except for on skip ah can we actually decrease the level is this a decrease level i wonder if that will be something that's possible or maybe only when you specialize the different point that you set him up maybe that's when it's possible to do so okay we're researching the sandwich boat which can allow us to get Moving on ocean a little bit better, uh, but as they are doing that, let's look around on the map. Drifter camp. Isn't that where we picked up one before? It still looks like there's a fire. I wonder if that's a bug. Let's try to go backwards. That's badly. Going back a bit with the boat, and let's see. I'm pretty sure this is probably the camp we were at last time, right? And see, works again to resend the camera. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so let's see. Oh, there is another one here. We got the Delphine Cod. It was a uh, tomb thief pre the flood, trapped in an sarcophagus during the first flood. They have intimate experience with the taste of mummy jerky. Sometime they miss it. That sounds pretty nasty, really. But then became a garbage user. You can use anything, this drifter insists. This disturbingly effective result seems to be suggest that they have a point. Okay, we're gonna invite them. Probably. Not gonna eat anymore. Mummies, I would say, right? Mummy jerk, that sounds weird. Uh, we can have a few people swimming over this one. We also want to gather some tinder, maybe some goods as well. Keep our people busy with things. And I do think we should be looking into looting a little bit more wood soon. And perhaps also making the little one, the little construction where we can turn goods into wood and the plastic if we go to building. Then we go here, then we have this one, Recycler. That's where we can turn uh, goods in, into plastic waste and dry wood. So, let's have that one over there. Should be good. In case we ever need that, we have it available. That's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna continue making ropes here. So how far have we come with this one? We're getting closer, awesome. And I wonder what we're gonna go after that. I think we had some plan, right? So I think we wanted to go for... Fishing, I think, so we can acquire some more food. I would say, gonna go for a watchtower can also be really useful because then we can actually see a little bit more what's going on around us at the same time. But also making tool makers, it would also be good. There, there are so many good things in here, basically. I wish you could shut down these windows with the escape key, but I have to click the buttons. But I'm sure that's just a work in progress that they're doing right now because they're like reinventing. The use interface, it seems. Okay, so now we have five people living here, which means we're gonna need to have more food and water. Got a message there, I missed it, okay. Probably marked something on the map, I'm guessing. Now we have learned to do salvage boat. So to get that one going, we need to first make an mooring point, and then we need to make a salvage boat. So we need to get planks, and we also do need to get more planks. So maybe now, while it's night time, we can actually look around a little bit while you are asleep. And we can find some useful stuff. The game is doing some really weird thing when you rotate like this. So we have some medicine and a bird over there. Okay, let's back up a bit. We're just gonna keep going backwards, why not? <laughs> um, here we have some wood. I don't think we can get it though, because we don't have tools yet. So we might want to actually unlock tools pretty soon. But yeah, let's loot some of this. That's gonna be useful as well. Make this a bit bigger. Or mainly more people can go there. Okay, all five can go there. If they are not busy with anything else for now. What is this? Ah, a little lamp. And here we have an derelict truck. The only thing we can get here is uh, dry wood, which isn't really a bad thing. But as we get tools, we can actually gather these things like generators. We can gather the metal scraps. So maybe unlocking the tools isn't such a bad idea, really. So let's go back to the research window. And then let's make the tool maker. Let's go for that. We all have three points available, but as we get the final point, we will be able to reach that and learn that. 
Okay, now, so now we're looting this. Like, one, one of my favorite things about this game is really all the landmarks. I, I would love to see more and more landmarks that look different every time. And maybe more interesting ones. Maybe multi-step landmarks that you have to first do something and then you return and do another thing. So you can't, like, see everything the first time you see it or something. It would be kind of cool. So we're pretty much gathering the timber from that one. Five more of that, okay. You see food and water is getting kind of low. And yeah, let's see if we can get some planks uh, queued up so we can make those. Okay, we have some queued up here. Okay, that's gonna be great. I'm just gonna queue up a little bit more of that. And uh, let's see for the water here. Okay, we need more floaters and more planks. So let's make some more floaters. We have two of these, we can just keep making of these. And what we might want to do, let's have this on maintain. And what we can do instead of like clicking the add every time, we can have it set up so we have an X amount of things that we want to keep in supplies. So in this window, we want to go to, let's say planks for example. Let's say we ever want to have 12 planks. We probably never want to have more, more at once. And then floaters, let's say we want to have 12 of that as well. So whenever we have 12, we will not be crafty anymore. They can go and do other tasks and... In this case, 12 might even be a bit much. I'm actually going to lower both of these to 8. And ropes can go for like 6 maybe? 7? Okay, that's fine. Um, and uh, that's it for now at least. You should also be able to, I think, to click these. Let's see here. Destruct. Okay, some of these doesn't have a tooltip. I'm not sure what that does. Okay, info. And you can rename them, that's nice. Enable, disable, okay. Look at those big fishes. Okay, so let's look around again. I think you can keep going. Ah, is this a leak and water tower? Ah, looks like... Looks like a scout tower of some kind. Forest lookout tower, oh wow. Here we got some seaweed, let's gather that. I kind of wish there were a little bit more sounds in this game. It's a very silent game. And yeah, let's scout the region. As you can see here, we don't have tools. We can't really unlock that. And uh, this one also needs tools to chop these beautiful trees down and uh, visit the island and the flowers. So can't really do much here, but at least we can scout a bit. This one we can actually gather the dead wood from, so that's pretty good. Okay, we've scouted the region. Awesome. This seaweed is going to be useful, like, if we want to make more ropes, we're going to have used this for making some ropes. That's going to be great. Hopefully we can loot it soon. But then now that I made them busy with these things, uh, they might be busy with that for a while. And we want to put this on maintain here as well. We'll try to keep that supply of uh, planks pretty much. Oh nice, we actually researched the entire tool maker. Okay, cool. Uh, what do we need for that? Um, I want to get a more important though. We should get a soul tail. We have to decide. Let's go for a mooring point. That's gonna allow us to take the boat to trips. It's gonna save a lot of time. So the boat allows you to travel very far away from the hometown while also going around quicker, but also looting twice as much on the boat compared to swimming with the things. <clears throat> so it's gonna be a good thing. But uh, let's see for toolmaker. What do we need for that? Okay, not not that bad really. So I think we're gonna make a toolmaker. And I think we're gonna set up some more storage around here. Because the boat is gonna be going here, right? And we need a few more planks. To make the salvage boat. I think we might have it soon. Okay, there we go. Then we make the boat awesome. And toolmaker is getting built here. I don't think we have to stay here though. We might want to move already. See what lies ahead. Here's another camp with a drifter. Do we perhaps have some... Uh, there's some medicine over here. But sometimes it's good to yes, find some early on food. But I think we could head this way. Because I think that maybe that place might actually have some... Can I go backwards? That place might actually have some uh, food as well. If we're lucky. And here, let's make a quick stop here by the... Wet wood. So we use that to hang it up and uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. So tools here. Um 
that's another thing. I'm gonna craft to do free tools. So uh, as it works, like if you find an island that has this thing, you have to use spend like for example one tool to unlock the landmark, and that allows you to go there and harvest whatever it has. The salvage radius has increased, and that's what we can do now. So instead of just sending our swimmers over, we can also send the boats over. So then you use this one instead. We can use a G key. And we can go, as you can see, we can go real far away. We can send a boat over here for fun to try it out a bit. But we only have one boat, so only one can go. But let's see. Did it go? Is mismatch going to the ocean? Very nice. I feel like they maybe added some particle effects or something after the boat. It looks better than before somehow. It looks very nice. Okay, let's gather some plastic. And you can even name the boats, by the way. Should this be the Black Pearl, maybe? From uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Uh, okay, so that one seems to be full. I can't see what it has. In the past, you could actually see what they had loaded on them, but... Seems that has changed, but it should be like 10 items every time, if they haven't changed that. But yeah, time for some sleep, and I think we still need... Do we need some more beds? We have a 2, 4, 5. Oh, we have enough beds. Okay, awesome. And we don't need that, but I think we can upgrade these nowadays. So the drying racks can be upgraded with some ropes, and that allows them to dry more wet wood at a time. Which might mean that we can remove a few of them as well. And dry in on fewer of those. Let's head to the map for a bit. And uh, let's head to this place. Oh, there's a bird. I haven't had the seagulls for such a long time. Could be fun to get them. I wonder how useful they are these days. And so let's see here. So here we got some... Oh, more. More dead wood. Okay, nice. Can send one boat over, and here we have uh, a person. Here we have a bobblehead. Beautiful name. Another lonely soul tried to make a home with driftwood. So bobblehead uh, was a hipster brewer, and later become a uh, master baiter. So liquids, uh, cooking, and fishing. Okay, so let's get him over as well. Loot everything. We could send a boat, but I think it's, it's very close, so a boat is gonna be busy at this point. Look at that, just kicking the trees, Minecraft style, right? Yes, very nice. Oh, I love the little rope we have here. Nice. Okay, so considering things, I'm kind of thinking of um, maybe we should try to get another mooring point. And let's have. Uh, Let's queue this up. Turn the goods into some plastic and wood. And then also, I want to maintain rope making. So here we go. And that one I put at six, I think. Something like that. Seven, right? Yeah, seven. Okay, so now we're at six people. We level up a bit as well. So let's see what that entails for us. I'm not a really huge fan of these big windows. I think they're a little bit overkill, so I would love to see them change it a bit. So. Um, Skip loves uh, working with water, so that's great. Times it more handling speed to plus morale, so that's gonna be really good. And the more they love something that they get to work with, the faster they can level up as well. And leveling up as well uh, increases the amount of knowledge point you get that you use for researching in here. And we should probably queue up something more. So they have a shopping block, wood walkway. I kind of wish, like, it, it's good in a one way that we have different walkways that uses different materials, but it would also be fun if um, it said something like the different walkways and maybe one is quicker. I mean, it decreases the amount of decorative thing that you maybe want to have a mix and set that up, but uh, it would also be a nice progression thing to be able to, like, I would say get around quicker in one kind of the roads, right? Uh, houses, adequate home for a drifter. Fish uh, let's get a fishing ship. We need to get food and water going very soon. Like, look at that. We have one food, one water. Not very stable, right? Uh, let's make another... Okay, we can't. We're waiting for some ropes. So you can see, to shop this down, we actually need to use two tools to unlock that. 
And if we go to the tool maker, where do we have it? Here we have it. So that means we have to spend the six plastic weights to get, in this case, 12 dry wood, which isn't, isn't that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad, really. It really depends what you're after, what kind of resource at this moment, right? But I think we should let them gather a little bit more wood here before we leave. Look at that, just throwing in all the wood. <laughs> Looks like it's kind of missing though, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, kick down the tree. Yes, very nice. Kick it. Like, in one way, I like the tool thing, you know, you have to like use the tools for unlocking these landmarks, which is fine, I guess. But sometimes I also wish that uh, just having tools in itself would allow you maybe to gather things quicker, like go to the Deadwoods and actually use a tool to sh like chop them down instead of just punching and kicking, right? It takes quite a while to loot those things, actually. So, I guess maybe the idea is that this one goes quicker because they can use tool, but you can never gather this one quick, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, we need another home, as it says. Uh, so let's go to building. I'm gonna make another duo tent, I think. So let's first make a little walkway, increase that a bit bigger. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that we will do like this. How much space does this actually take? I think that's like three. So if you have that available, I think we should be able to squeeze in another building here. There we go, awesome. And uh, the drift had a message with them. Before I strand on the island, I drifted past what seemed to be an abandoned sediment. Perhaps there are some kind of useful resources there, a market location on the map. Thank you, thank you. Very kind of you. So, Bumblehead, we're gonna have a look and see what that could be. Got Seagull, got uh, the medicine. This one's kind of interesting, it has this little green thing around it. It's a near-empty gas station. And let's head to this one. I'm kind of hoping that this one might actually have some food. The seagull, uh, since we don't have the research yet, I'm probably gonna wait for them. Uh, but let's see this one. Scavenge goods. Okay, not really something we're after. This one has a Saint Stephen living there, a seagull. Uh, we will have to wait a bit though. Uh, let's gather a little bit of plastic before we leave, I suppose. And we should really get those solar still going soon, I hope. And we might want to specialize a little bit more now, so let's see here. The priority orders. Like I said, I don't really, really like this one. I kind of prefer the other one that was smaller. I think this is just insanely big. It's kind of hard to understand, like... Like, I want to look here, I want to see what's happening in the background at the same time, because I want to be able to micromanage things. Um, but in here we can set up what they are gonna do. For example, if Bubble Heads loves cooking, we can increase that priority. We can have that for a skip as well. I think this is a good idea to try to make them do things to love and things they're skilled in, right? And in this case they do have... Malfrit has some skill here. We can increase that as well. Go like that. No one seems to like crafting. Yeah, we will see. There, there's a trouble if you set up this way too much as well. You might end up like someone is working really good, but some stuff never gets done as well. Uh, Asoma still, yes. Let's gather some water. Have that one over there, and then let's uh, continue the walkway a bit. And let's head to the map again. A water tower. We have to go to that one, for sure. I notice if you click the shift key, you can also control the boat directly, I think. Yes. So you can use the W A S D keys. And let's make a little stop here. There's people there. I don't think we wanna get them to join at this point, however. Uh, because we just don't have the resources to handle that. Healthy trees we can shop down over there. 
scavenge goods. Here we got some more trees. We are pretty good with trees at this point. I'm gonna send over the boat to loot a bit. And I'm gonna prepare the second mooring point. I'm gonna allow it to be a walkway in between these two. And then we just need to get a bit more planks to make another boat. Okay, that should be really good. Get some plastic, get another boat, hopefully very soon, that we can travel around with. Awesome. Oh, look at that, we can make it a fishing share, okay. Where do we have that, want to have that one? Um, maybe over here? Here we have the upgraded uh, drying racks, by the way, the big drying rack. We can dry three woods at a time, which we don't really have use for at this point, but eventually we might have some. Uh, yeah, look, let's look around a bit. And we mainly need to gather some... Let's go for the water. It's gonna be essential. Even though we do need to get some food very soon. Let's make a stop around here. There was a big building over there that might have some good stuff. So here we have a leaking water tower with five water. That's gonna be very useful. Uh, I don't think we're gonna... Should we worry about the goods? I don't really think we should. Got some level ups to do as well. And oh wow, look at the amount of dry wood we got over there. And uh, we need four tools. Okay, wow. So you can see we don't have enough tools to unlock this one. Uh, but uh, let's look into this. We have a level up mismatch and malfrit. Okay. So let's get level up some um, building. And malfrit, we're gonna level up. Uh, Fishing and let's also go into the priority list again. Make sure that Malfrit are Malfrit are doing some fishing whenever available because didn't they have like a high skill in it? But wait, I'm pretty sure it said five in fishing and loves fishing. Uh, what? This is. This isn't correct. They have a higher skill in this one, and they love it, but it doesn't show. Cooking in liquid, what? Liquid? They don't love cooking, they love fishing. <laughs> There's a bug going on here, I think, yes. Interesting. So, see, not all the rifts have got food or water, which means they're gonna be weaker. If I think if there's like three days of this, uh, they will actually... I don't remember if they die instantly, or if they will slowly lose health, but we definitely need to get both more food and water. I just kind of hope we would have had enough water, but I guess we will have when we have looted this one. And hopefully catches, catching those fish is going to help a bit. So that's not very nice that this one isn't correct at the end there, so that's bugged out, okay. So, I think it's safer to go through here then. Do we have someone that's like, good with research, normally? Okay, so Skip is pretty good with that, because I think I'm adding someone that will be doing research. I might even go with Young Punk, because he loves research. So, so Skip and Young Punk, let's go for those. There we go. So whenever you want to research something, it's not a thing that you do very often. So whenever it happens, it happens and it will do whatever you decide for them to do, right? Uh, four points. I think we should head into more with the food. Yeah, let's go for fish kebabs. So we can make some delicious, maybe a bit poisonous food, but at least food, right? And now we can make the second boat, awesome. And we might want to have two people that uh, focus on going out there. So I'm gonna have Delphine Cod as well help with that. I just feel like whenever there are things that you tell them like, you should do this thing, like you should go to the ocean and salvage something. I want them to go almost instantly when I want them to build or research also. And everything else is like repetitive thing that they do to keep our thing afloat, I guess. 
Okay, so let's have a look on the map again. So, leak and water tower, I don't think it's looted yet, right? Where is it? Okay, we got all the water, awesome. Great, then I think we can move a bit. I want to see what this is. It looks like there's a person. This building also looks very interesting. So here we have uh, Clam Shoda, Spaghetti Bridge Champion, <laughs> and then became a seafloor survivalist. So we got crafting cooking skills, we got crafting research, loves that. Um, I'm not, I, I don't think I'm gonna make them join us at this point. Why? Because I want to make sure we can keep our people alive to invite, right? Um, do I want to spend tools on this? Maybe on the electric scrap, I suppose. And uh, let's send like a boat. We can. It's not with one boat, go here, actually. And then let's make uh, another solar still. We're catching some fishes here, so that's good. Got some bottle fish. I don't remember if you can eat a bottle of fish. I don't think you can. So we should have uh, the fish sticks, shop shop, so floaters and uh, also some planks for this. We're kind of low on those resources now as well, so I think we want to use our recycler a bit. Put down the goods in this one, turn it into wood and plastic. And uh, let's look around, we have more wood and plastic, here we have plastic at least. Already have one there, okay. Can I have another one, I guess? <laughs> oh, this one looks cool. It's like one of those building cranes. That's just leaning on the house itself, right? So many interesting things going on. Okay, now we can make the fish the sticks. So let's put these over here. Then we can make a walkway behind here. That's what I want to do here. I think we need to. I guess I want to swim to that one or something. There's one there. But yeah, I definitely feel like they have made the going on the water more beautiful. It looks very nice. It kind of looks like they have put in brushes of paint like over the water as they are paddling. And the waves as well here. Very nice. But yeah, I'm sorry, Clam. I will have to decide later on. We know you are around here. And we hope you will survive up there. I mean, it looks pretty cozy. It looks pretty nice, right? You even have a yuke box with him. Got a chair, got some cover over his head from the sun, got some fire. Hopefully, not gonna burn down the building. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good, I think. I think we're mostly done here as well. A few of the more of these. Since we spent tools on that, we should definitely. Make sure to get our everything. Just gathering, just smashing down antennas and stuff. Very nice. So now we are at two water, zero food. Hopefully, there's some more food soon with fish sticks and all that. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll get there. Uh, but uh, this is gonna be it for today with Flotsam, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want a name in the game, do let me know in the comments. I will looking for the names, and will I will be starting to add names in the next episode after this one. So thanks for watching. Hope you had a beautiful day, and also thanks to my members on YouTube as well for supporting me. You're awesome, and have a great, beautiful rest of the day. Take care. Have a good one, everyone.